Hello my dear students, welcome to Medical Anatomy. Today we are going to discuss about the OSPI questions related with ulna. There are some questions these bones proximal and related, some questions are related with the shaft and some questions are related with distal end. So in the proximal ends, maybe we can make here a marking on the olecranon process superior surface and we may ask you what will be attached here. You have to say there will be attachments of the capsular ligament. If in questions they have added what, will, what muscle will be inserted here, you have to say there will be insertion of triceps brachii. Then in the coronoid process also, we know coronoid process anteriorly there is a roughened area and name of this roughened area is called ulnar tuberosity. So we may mark here and we can say identify this area. What muscles will be attached here? You have to say this is ulnar tuberosity and brachialis muscles will be inside here. Other than sometimes we may even mark here also and ask you what is the name of this area? You have to say this is the radial notch of ulna. What part of the radius will be here attached? Head of the radius will be attached. What is the name of the joint? Name of the joint will be superior radio ulnar joint. In case of shaft, there are two sections for discuss related with the fracture, upper, upper part and lower part or we can say proximal part and distal part. If there is a fracture of the proximal part of the humerus up to the mid shaft and there is a dislocation of superior radial nerve joint, we are saying it is called Montezia fracture. If there is distal segment of the radial ulna fractures plus inferior radial ulna joint dislocation, we are saying it is called glazia fracture. In the lower end, there is a group between head of the ulna and stylar process of the ulna. We may mark here and ask you what tendon passes through here. You have to say extensor carpi ulnaris tendon will be passing through here. Ossification related questions also we are asking from ulna. As it is a long bone, we know that there will be in the shaft diaphysis, diaphysis contain primary ossification center. So primary ossification center will be appear at the 8 weeks of intrauterine life. Two end contain epiphysis, epiphysis contain secondary ossification center. In case of lower end, it will be appear at the age of 6 year and in case of upper end, it will be appear at the age of 9 years. And in case of lower end, it will be unite with the remaining shaft at the age of 20 years. And in case of upper end, it will be unite with the diaphysis at the age of 18 years. So, growing end will be the lower end of ulna. Thank you.